morning. We have a Pitco Fryer that is 158 degrees, 160 degrees. This is uh, a high limit switch. I want you to hear it. You hear it? So this is like a, a breaker for temperatures that if the belly of that fryer gets to be 400 plus degrees, it kills the fryer so it doesn't burst into flames. Well, listen, that's the sound it makes when it has to be, when it resets. So like if this were legitimately 450 degrees inside, it would sound like this because it thinks it's burning hot and it's not. So we have a bad high limit switch, which is gonna prevent the gas valve from coming on. No, it just kills the power to the gas valve, so nothing lights. Okay, so for testing purposes only, I right, just cannot be left to run this way. For diagnostic purposes, uh, I'm I'm condemning the high pressure cutout, the <laughs> high pressure cutout, the uh, high temperature cutout. So what I've done is jumped it. Right, I put the two wires on the same side, so this is now irrelevant. If that diagnosis is correct, when I fire this up, now it's going to enable for it to light. So that's actually not uncommon. This is a self-cleaning tube, and you see how it's burning. So this fryer turns itself on and off three or four times when it first starts to clean the orifice burners at the tips of those. So now it's running. Uh, again, I don't need to wait to see anything else. I know that it was the high limit. And now we gotta replace the high limit. We can't leave it this way because if the thermostat now fails and gets stuck wide open, there's no safety to shut it down. And it'll just uh, burst into flames. Let's replace the high limit.